Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to start making animations uh, for our FPS arms for FPS game in Unity. In the previous episodes we created the melee animations and in today's video we're going to, uh, we're going to make the secondary animations. Animations for like the pistols and in the future video we're going to make the primary weapon animations for our assault rifles, shotguns and, and sniper rifles and so on. This is probably going to take a bit of time, but it's very simple, I promise. So when we were making our melee animations, we saved some um, Blender saves here. And I want you to open the melee idle. And I think this is a very good start for the rest of the animations. First off, I'll just rename this to idle secondary. And of course, as uh, with everything else, we have to get some kind of a starting position. And for that I will just straighten out straighten out the right arm since I think that's a pretty cool position like this. And always make sure that the hand or the right hand bone is looking forward. That's very important since the gun is going to be parented to this bone. We never want it to look anywhere else but forward. This seems pretty good. So I'll select every bone and press I, and then I'll copy with Control C, move to the last frame, press Control V to paste, and then again press I. And since this is a idle animation, I'll go to frame 16, or somewhere in the middle right here, and then I'll just take these forearm bones and uh, rotate them on the x-axis, like this, press I, and uh, of course make sure that this bone is again looking forward and not up, like this and then just press I and it should look something like this which I think is a great idle animation of course we want to save this so file save as I'll create a new folder for secondary I'll rename this to FPS arms idle secondary and save as blender file of course we want to export this the name should be fine and make sure you click selected objects down here and check this for scale and export. Next is the walking an animation and the idle animation is the perfect start for that. So what I'll do is I'll just go down here and re rename this to walk secondary. Remove the middle keyframes and start again with some kind of a pose. So I'll take this root bone that we made and then I'll rotate it around the z-axis towards the left like that and again make sure that this bone is looking forward select everything with A and press I copy and paste onto the last frame, frame press I now somewhere in the middle we want to switch between uh, sides so I'll just take this root bone rotate around the z-axis to somewhere like this and again make sure that this is looking forward select everything press I I think the starting frame is maybe a bit too much on the left side so I'll just rotate it a bit towards right and then again make sure that this is looking forward press I Select everything, copy, paste onto the last frame, press I. So what I'll do, I'll save as FPS arms walk secondary blend. And then also I will export. Export FBX. Next is the sprinting animation and again the walk animation is the perfect start for this. So I'll just rename it down here to sprint secondary. And the first frame I want to change so it's a bit rotated um, on the x-axis so just take the root bone, rotate around the x-axis and also rotate around the z-axis a bit more towards left like this. Select everything, press I, Control C to copy, move to the last frame, Control V, press I. 
And now the middle frame, we also want to rotate around the X axis and also rotate a bit more on the Z axis. Here we don't have to make sure that uh, this bone is looking forward since we're not going to be able to shoot while we're sprinting. And of course press I while having everything selected and you should get something like this. I think this is a very good sprint animation. So I'll save it as FPS arms sprint secondary and also export it. Next is the jumping animation and sadly we, we can't use this anymore. So we'll just go file open and we will open the idle secondary animation and then we'll just take this and at around frame 6 we want to take the root bone, rotate around the x-axis and also take the four arms and rotate them around the x-axis. Select everything, press I and at this point it will do this which is pretty good. And I will also take the last frame and just move it a bit closer so the animation finishes um, quicker. I maybe want to rotate this around the x-axis a bit more, something like this. I think this is pretty cool. I'll rename it to jump secondary down here. I will save it. FPS arms jump secondary and also export jump secondary. Make sure you click selected objects down here again and uh, change the scale or apply the scale here and click export. Next animation is the reload animation and this one is probably the hardest because it requires you to have the reload animation for the gun. In one of my previous videos I showed you my workflow for creating guns and in that video I told you to create your own. In that video also showed you how to create uh, the rig for the gun and the rest is just you doing the reload animation which is very very simple. If you don't have these animations yet that doesn't matter, you can uh, just use these uh, four animations that you just made and then add these animations later when you make the guns. But if you do have this, um, it should be pretty simple to make. This is my reload animation. It looks like this, I think it's pretty cool. And then I will take it, copy it in object mode, take the mesh and the bones and place it and paste it in uh, to my project and then try to place it um, in a spot where it will be in the game so as I said it's going to be parented to this bone maybe scale it a bit like this this seems pretty cool I will just take this last frame and move it back to 31 delete the middle keyframe and then if you play it you will see that the reload animation of the gun also plays and now it's just the sake of you combining these two animations and making them follow each other so I'll go into my um, FPS arms armature and rename the animation to reload secondary and if I just move along this uh, path you will see that my arm need needs to follow this magazine so I will do that when the magazine is at the lowest point I will just take the arm and uh, move it a bit forward actually you can press G to move it like this I think this is pretty good and it will work fine. So I'll first off save it, file save as, FPS arms reload secondary blend, save as blender file and of course export it. But first I will delete the gun because we won't need it anymore. Just select armature, export FBX, 
this will be the FPS arms reload secondary and export and this is it for this video in the next video as I said we're going to be making the animations for the primary weapon which should be similar to this but hopefully you enjoyed if you did be sure to leave a like comment down below subscribe and maybe go follow me on my patreon or anything you want there's links to that in the description and hopefully I'll see you next time bye bye